We've seen jump, we've seen compare, I need to show you a few other instructions before I can add 1 to 100 like I did in, or I showed you where we were going a few videos back. Uh, the video, or not the video, the instruction I want to talk about in this video is the increment and also the decrement instructions. So first of all, let's move into EAX the value 0. Let's zero out EAX. Um, and now I want to say, well, add to EAX 1. All right, that will take it, 0 plus 1 is 1, and then let's add to EAX another one, and add to EAX another one, and so on and so forth. Hopefully you're getting the gist of where I'm going with this. So that will say 0, then plus 1 will be 1, then 2, 3, 4. Well, I can do these add instructions, or I can do a more succinct way, which is increment. So let me just pepper these in here. I'm going to say increment EAX, which is the exact same as saying add 1 to EAX. All right, add EAX 1, increment EAX. Let me, um, I'm going to copy this line of code and just pepper it throughout all these ads so that you can see that the add does the same th adding. 1 does the same thing as incrementing by 1. Let me F11 on this, Control alt d F11, move into EAX 0, so EAX becomes a 0, add 1, well now it's a 1, increment EAX, that will take it to a 2, add 1, well that's the same as incrementing, now we're a 3, increment EAX 4, 5, hopefully you get the idea there. Now, I can also decrement. All right, I can, let's change this one to a decrement, D-E-C, which means subtract one instead of adding one. It's, it's the same as adding a negative one, or maybe I can subtract one. Same idea, that's what a decrement is. So let's F11 on this, Control-Alt-D, F11. Uh, EAX will go to a zero, we're going to add one, that'll take it to a one. Increment, that'll take it to a two. Add another one, that'll take it to a three. But now we decrement EAX, which will take it back down to a two. Alright, well, hopefully that makes sense. Increment, if you think of people, they say, well, let's do something incrementally. It means little bit by little bit, one by one. And that's the idea with increment and decrement. Um, one difference, though, between add and increment is increment only does one. Okay, it's incremental, whereas add, you know, I can do a 15 if I want to. That's something to think about. Anyway, uh, let's... Uh, let me take all this out. I'm just hitting Control L to do that. And say I want to count from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, so I can keep adding and adding and adding. I'll hit F11 here. Uh, Control Alt D, F11. And you see, watching EAX, we'll go to a 0 here. I just put a 0 in there. And then add 1, add 2, add 3, add 4, add 5, so on and so forth. We keep adding, and it goes up and up and up. Well, if I wanted for some weird reason to make that register count to 100, even though having it count to 100 is kind of useless. But I could paste this 100 times. But actually, in the last video, didn't I show you the jump instruction? So here, I'm going to control L all of those out. And let's just say, hey, do it again. And then down here, I'm going to say, hey, jump to do it again. F11, F11. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot to bring up the disassembly window before I hit F11. And now my computer is stuck. What is it stuck doing? Let's click here, Shift F5, F11. This time I'll bring up the disassembly window. Control Alt D, F11. Move into EAX 0. Sure enough, it's a 0. And then add to EAX 1. Now it's a 1. Jump to do it plus 5. We've seen this before. In the previous videos, we saw that our do it again label was simply changed to a location of the beginning of our code plus an offset into RAM, which means this location, which is the location of our add. So we're going to change the instruction pointer to jump back up to here and then do the add again. So now we we increment, well, there, oh, we're doing the add, so that goes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See how we're stuck in this loop? All right, this is going to happen forever and ever and ever again. All right, and it will never break out. In fact, I'm going to shift F5 out of that. And just, I, I want to do the increment instead. Increment EAX, same thing as the, the add that I just took out. F11, Control-Alt-D, F11. 
zero out EAX, and then add one, 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 ah, so on and so forth. Now the problem I proposed in the video a few videos back is I want to add all the numbers one to a hundred, but obviously we, I mean, here we have a a way to count. At least we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so on and so forth. But eventually we get to a hundred, and it's just going to keep going and going and going and going and never stop. I want it to stop at a hundred. I don't want it to keep on going like this. So the next thing I'm going to show in the next video is conditional jumping. All right, and we'll compare that against jump. This is called an unconditional jump. It means just go do it. Whereas conditional jumping takes to affect some other things. So that's the next video.